What's up, guys? We're back here, and we're back with some Slay the Spire. So, we've been getting our butt kicked as the Watcher. So, I'm going to take a step back, take a little bit of a breather, and uh, do the Ironclad. We got some unlocks since we switched to the beta branch. So, I figured this would be a good refresher. Uh, ooh, Thread and Needle. Charge combat with four plated armor at the loss of eight max HP, which is totally fine with me. Um, what path do I want? I'm thinking this. It's a lot of early combat, but give us some cards. Go for that elite. Uh, go for that elite, maybe. Uh, twelve. Uh, could I kill him? No. Let's go ahead and break both these dudes. Oh, I forgot we got that. We got that plated armor. We only take three damage, because that sets us up for if we had two strikes to get a kill, and we heal back up anyway. Skill potion. Um, Sever Soul could be good. Not all non-attack cards, but it'd be that kind of kick to damage we really would want kind of early. We'll take it. It's definitely an interesting one, but you know, high damage kind of, kind of going for it kind of thing. Allows you to be a little bit more offensively focused, and that's kind of what you want with Ironclad. And oh, we are so close. Um, I say I just want to get the kill. Let's see, Cleave. I love Iron Wave, but some AOE could be good if we go against the Sentinels. I think I'll take the AOE right now. I'm trying to be a little bit more offensively focused. Plate armor does a lot for us in terms of defense, so. Okay, we can kill him right off. We have no uh, defense in hand. So killing one is the best way to protect ourselves. So he's dead. Best turn we could have had. Bash and cleave. And the next turn, we have the kill. So I hope everyone's doing good. Been trying to, uh, taking a break from RimWorld. Uh, I've been playing it nonstop. I've had, like, such a fun time with it. Um... Let's go Whirlwind. Whirlwind's always really good. Uh, so I needed to take a break from it. Uh, record something a little different. I've been playing it on stream, for YouTube, and in my free time. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, but I needed like a, a good palate cleanser. And this game is a little bit more relaxing. You know, I can't win as the Watcher. Um, does it stop it being, from being fun? Uh, Toxic Egg, whenever you add a skill card into your deck, upgrade it. It's a good, good early pickup. Yeah, I think we'll go for this elite. Got the gremlin man. The knob of the gremlin. I don't know why they call him that. Like, he does look gremlin-esque, but why knob? Like, out of all the words you could pick. So 16, that one's 15. I think you go for the higher damage card. The vulnerability would have been really nice, but I'm not too worried about it. I don't think it would have made up, like, in terms of damage overall so we did burn out all of our defense uh, in hopes of just killing him sooner two damage um, three HP yeah gain an energy kill him potion belt upon pickup gain two potion slots pretty nice potions always really good ooh an upgraded armament I like it I like it a lot Combust is pretty cool. I don't know exactly, like, I can imagine doing Combust with that new relic they added in would just be five free damage to all enemies every turn. But I think we'll go with Armaments. Ability to upgrade is pretty dang nice. Okay. So we are upgrade, I mean, exhausting. So Dark Embrace could be good. It's also on sale. And another Armaments. Ooh, but also Frozen Egg. I think... And Brimstone. Brimstone is also really cool. I don't think we have enough damage to like... Well, no. Brimstone plus uh, Whirlwind. Now that's something I can get behind. And then there's another Whirlwind. Brimstone, Whirlwind. Ooh. This is going to be a... It's going to be a fun one. If it works out. I think Sever Soul does not make sense anymore. It needs to be probably removed uh, in the long term. Ooh, or Calcum. That's awesome. Uh, if you end your turn without block, gain six block. That plus thread needle is ten block for free every turn. 
I think we'll rest and upgrade our other whirlwind. So we have AOE covered, like super covered. Way more than we would ever need to cover it. Gotta check to see if there's a sailor or something. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh yeah. Now if we could get like some widespread vulnerability, that'd be like the best thing we could do. But this is gonna be a fun one. Ooh, yep, bloodletting. I think, yeah. Just extra, uh, extra energy means more damage across the board. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade all these cards. End our turn. Might as well. Because we would like to l l wait till like as late as we can. So the goal would be, oh, uh, that would wake him up. Should we though? Is the vulnerability worth it? I think it is. Uh, and this. I think if we can get our uh, whirlwind this turn, oh, with the bloodletting. Boom. Yeah, that's the power of Brimstone. Oh, Pantograph at the start of boss combat. Gain 25 HP. That solves us uh, having to rest at the like at the first boss every every uh, go around. Mm. Uh, ghostly armor is good. Ethereal and 12 block for one. Ethereal is like the negative side, but just the 12 block for one. Oh, guys, you're not, you're not giving me a good hand to start with. It's fine. Um, again, bad, bad, bad move. Um, 20 damage, not, well, if we armaments first, 20 damage, I can kill one of these. So armaments, service a the back. I guess we could have, uh, done a little more and got a little bit more block and then more one. All right, let's claim this gold. Uh, yeah, seeing red. I mean, we're, we're kind of just trying to stack up the energy in our favor. No reason not to. More, vulnerab more vulnerability will be really good for us. Okay, so this is gonna be, a, this first turn is gonna be rough. So do we apply the vulnerability or do we get the extra damage? I think we'll do this, bash. And then 15 per, for three. So this first turn's gonna hurt though. Yeah, eight by six. Woo wee. All right, armament, ghostly armor, defend. Oh, we could have used this vulnerability potion and got a little bit more out of our, uh, out of our whirlwind. It's okay though. Oh yeah, seeing red. Do we block? No, I think we'll take it. Well, we'll only take three because of, uh, or calcum is actually better this way. Take two, plus our one plated armor we had left. All right, so this is definitely just a try to outpace him kind of thing. And that we are. Like, we're gonna take a little bit more right now, but next turn we should get him. So this is why Brimstone is so good, yet so dangerous. Like, yes, we took half our health, but we decimated him. A uh, double tap, yeah. This turn, the next two attacks play twice. If we can double play Whirlwind, boom. Okay, so energy's like premium. Sozu would be really good, but also I don't think the normal combats are gonna matter. So there's the a new relic here, Slaver's Collar. During boss and elites combat, uh, gain one energy at the start of your turns. I think this will do it for us. I don't think any other enemies like long term will uh, give us too much grief. Okay, so I'm thinking right here, there's a rest right there that could be good. Up to that elite, maybe? Should be pretty fun. Okay, like, boom. Oh, oh, you survived? That's surprising. Should have counted that out. Now I'm only gonna take one. And then we will strike. Okay, need to kind of remember that. Uh, fire bleeding. Oh, they haven't, this is a little bit new. Uh, they must have reworked it. Whenever you draw a status or curse card, deal 10 damage to all enemies. That's pretty cool. None of those cards are really needed, but that's a new rework on that card. I thought it used to be whenever you play an attack, deal one damage to all energy and then all enemies and then upgrade to two. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I think we'll do all this, just upgrade these and continue through. 
He's got a lot of block. But we do this, double tap, whirlwind. I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Uh, dual wheel. Add two copies to it. No. Shrug it off. Upgrade it could be really good. Then we'll take it. A little bit of extra block, you know, just in, and a little bit of extra draw to get us to our whirlwind. Uh, should we take the shame? It's not going to really matter that much. We could hit the shop uh, if we wanted to. I think we'll do that. I don't think it'll matter because it gives us frail and we're not really defending anyway. Let's see what's here. <laughs> Demon form. Like we need more stuff. Or we could take Orry and see what we get. Well, there's not really any cards we're really wanting. Um, this is the new uh, potion. Well, the re-added potion. Elixir. Exhaust any number of cards in your hand. It's pretty cool. Used to exhaust all status and curses, I think. Um, I think we'll take Battle Trance. It's a little bit of an odd one. And we should remove the frail. Like, if we had the money for it. But I'm thinking Battle Trance is a free, like, draw. That could help us cycle back to our Whirlwind. Okay. This is not a fun one. Next two attacks played twice, but I only can play one attack. I could play this twice. Is that better than playing both of these? 23? Or yes it is. Just barely though. Not much of a difference, but a difference it is. Okay. Oh. You're going to do this to me. What's this rug give me? Oh, Battle Trance. Okay. However. Do I block? Oh, this is predicament. Because he's doing... Uh, 18, 27. And I can do 12 by 2. I only can do 24. Oh, and I, that's not enough to kill him. I think we will have to block. Which is really sad. Because that means both of our whirlwinds are in the next shuffle. Oh, there's both of our uh, energy cards we would have wanted. Alright, so now we are weak, which kind of sucks. And again, the card we want is not here. Oh, we are going to see in red just so we can play these two. 33 damage. Oof. But we got a blood potion and a regen. So even though we are taking a lot of damage, it's not that bad. Okay. Searing blow plus one. Mm. No. Iron wave. A little bit of defense. All right. Slavers. These are the ones we kind of want. But again, you guys are killing me, not giving me the uh, the stuff we want. Our stinking uh, whirlwind. I understand you got to make these things challenging. Ble like, believe me. 48. Yep. See? That's all it took. Bottle flame. Put a tart card in our opening hand. You know it. Return. Anything good? Oh, another ghostly armor? Don't mind if I do. Sword Boomerang would have been another good option. We're going to take out another elite, I think. Uh, just because it scales with strength really well. Oh, man. You guys are not going to have a good time here. Not going to have a good one. Didn't kill you, though. I think... We'll heal for that. Take the nine. Oh, no, we're not going to take the nine. I forgot. I got to remember, we have ten block every turn. Battle Trance. And Whirlwind. And you're almost dead, dude. And he'll probably... I think he attacks next turn. Uh, if his little cleric's not here. But I'm not really worried about it. Gambler's Brew. Uh, discard a number card and draw that many. It's really good. Another seeing red. We are adding so many, like, energy upgrades. Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorites. Take that three, deal that damage, in that turn. Get them, boys. Your boys are dead. Oh, this is a bad one. Look at this. Seeing red, seeing red, go so Nothing good here. Both those seeing reds would have been really good at a later point. All right. Oh, you didn't give it? Oof. All right, we definitely want these kids dead. With them not being dead, uh, we will have a lot of problems. Because if not, he will... If he's not summoning, he's more likely to attack. 
And that's what we don't really want. Because him attacking is rough. Oh, Tungsten Rod. I was just talking about this one. Whenever you lose HP, lose one less. So that plus... Uh, Oh, what the card we were talking about earlier, the one that deals damage across the board, but deals one to you. It's not... Uh, if we see it, I'll point it out again. I don't think we want any of these. I'm pretty happy with our 23 card deck. Anchor starts combat with 10 block. That's really good. That means we started to combat with 14 block with the plated armor. Uh, we're going to avoid the shop. See what this question mark is. Oh, getting a little bit more gold. Rizzle Dagger, it's just, I don't like, yes, it can be very good, but I don't think it's going to be better than anything we're throwing at him right now. Because I think most of our kills are going to come from, uh, Whirlwind. Ugh, if I make get decay, I guess. Well, we're going to heal right before the boss. And you take one less than events. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, Schnecko. I'm sorry to inform you, you're not going to bother me. See if we can get any more. Oh, that's bad. Did not want to draw the other whirlwind. I wanted to draw our seeing red. Which we added to be really good. And so far have not really done much for us. Okay. Uh, we've been snacked, as it would be called. I think we will play these out. Just because they're going to eat up our draw pile, if not. Take six damage here. Alright, uh... Maybe double tap Seversoul? That, that'd be what? Question is, double tap Seversoul is three. Uh, we'll need... We would need a little bit more. I think I'd rather... Gambler's Brew everything but the double tap. In hopes of drawing a Whirlwind. Which we, of course, did not. Uh... Double tap, and that's 28. Ugh. This is a gross predicament. I think we'll double tap bash. Ah, oh, take 19 more. Yeah, there's both rolling. Thanks. All right, block potion. Uh, heavy blade could be good, but I think I'd rather have. I think I'll take the weak in the intimidate. Uh, Jack's more strength. I mean, I think I'd rather have the mutagenic strength, uh, which is start each combat with three strength and at the end of your turn, lose three strength because we already have the whirlwind in our opening hand. So, uh, we're already doing extra damage. Like, we're already getting that, the benefit of that extra damage. Okay, and you might ask why I didn't rest. We're going to get 25 right here. All right, boys. Eat this. Oh, I didn't. I should have played out ghostly armor. It's gonna exhaust. Yep. Oh well. It's fine. Oh boy, you guys are not not taking it easy on me today. I see. All right, we'll divvy up that a little bit. Twenty nine, but we're still gonna take seven. Oh well, six. But who's counting? Oh yes. See, this is the kind of thing. That I was kind of looking for. Oh yeah. Look at that. Dead. Took seven damage. I would like to have not taken that. But what can you do? Uh, Impervious ain't bad. But I don't like. I don't think we need to add more to this deck. I think it's going to do what it's going to do. Um, I think we'll take the Mark of Pain. So gain energy at the start of your turn. At the start of combat. Shuffle two wounds into your draw pile. Which... Not really worried about the two wounds. Yeah, it kind of messes up, you know, us getting to our, uh, to our whirlwinds faster. But when we start with them in our hand, a lot of the time, or like in the beginning already, not too, too, too worried about it. Thirteen times four is forty plus twelve, so fifty-two. So I'd like to block first. Oh, thank you for the bloodletting. Boom. Okay. I guess I didn't need to. I would have gained. I had 10. I had enough. I need to remember I have an anchor. Okay. Uh, Carnage is really good. I like Carnage a lot. We don't need any of those. They're good, but not necessary. Oh, purple fire spirits. You know what? 
I don't really want. Uh, uh, not battle trance. Uh, suffer soul anymore. As good as it would be to exhaust the wounds, I don't think we need it. It's not our deck, so we gain some max HP off of that. Oh, so you guys, hello. Goodbye. They're really annoying. I'm gl I'm really excited, like happy to do that. Okay. Uh, there it is. Combust. That's what I was talking about. I think Tungsten Rod, like, negates Combust almost entirely. It's not what we're doing, but it'd be a fun deck to run. Okay. I think we're going to do Seeing Red. Gain some blocks. I think he's going to spike me if I don't. Yep. Just in case. Another strength potion? Which one do we not want? I guess regen? Discard. Strength potion. Ah, all those don't matter. Go for another lead up here, I guess. Oh, he's kind of annoying. The question is, do we battle trance or not? I don't think we do. Because I'm afraid if I battle trance, I'll draw the other whirlwind. That should be here next turn. I forgot, he also uh, changed, he changed his intent to uh, be more annoying. But I couldn't really hit him, so unless I battle trance and drew a card to allow me to hit him, blah, 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 blah. We're going to weaken him. We're going to cleave him. Okay, nine and something bad. I think we'll leave it at that. Because I know he can put a parasite in here, which would be really annoying. Okay, dude. Take your lumps. 21 more damage. I don't like that. Lock potion. We took eight more there. Oh, this one's kind of rough too. Okay, that, that. Ghostly armor. Sing red and shrug. Get a strike. Oh, and we got a double tap. Double tap. Oh, well. It's fine. It's all fine. Everything is fine and very good. I think we got him this turn. Yes, we did. Okay. Uh, armor Nance. Shrug. Iron Wave. These are all good cards. I think another shrug, I guess. It's not a bad one. We'll hit the elite. Oh, and the one I really wasn't wanting to fight. The most annoying nemesis. Okay. So we do pretty much like almost guarantee have him when he comes out of intangible if we have a whirlwind. But right now, all we can do is watch him be a really mean guy. But it's okay. Well, we'll get through this. Oh, you. You're such a nice man, Nemesis. Okay. Not too bad. I was thinking 48 would be hard to get, but we actually got a pretty good draw to deal with that. Okay. I'm not going to... Like, I'm trying not to draw into our whirlwind before we need it. All right. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Double tap. Let's shrug first. Dang it. I think we still got him. Yeah. Stone calendar. At the end of turn seven, deal 52 damage to all enemies. It's pretty good. Um, Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. We don't have that. Okay, none of those. There's a lot of parts for an exhaust build that we didn't end up using. Um, this Intimidate? Yeah. I'm fine. Sundial. Every three turns you shuffle your every three times you shuffle your draw pile, gain two energy. It's pretty good. Could be a very interesting like thing to watch for. Alright, Spiker. You're gonna be annoying, I can already tell you. What's not gonna be annoying is really hurting the board right now. Oh, I didn't think we'd get the wipe on the board, but that works. Fire potion, nice. Uh no. I don't need another shrug it off. Hit another elite. Oh, this is a new one. They actually don't have a, uh, a, uh, like a relic for it yet. A, uh, what's the word? A sprite. Uh, whatever you might call it. A picture for it. At the start of turn two, gain 14 block. Actually, really good. Uh, the less blocking we have to worry about, the more energy we can put into, uh, Whirlwind. Oh, dude, you're not, you're not gonna like this. Sorry to inform you. I told you. Not gonna like it. 
Good battle, Trant. I am uh, don't want to draw the whirlwind. Got to get out of the habit of thinking that is the best course of action. Because you could do this instead. Alright, and she should keep summoning, I hope. So we went through both of our whirlwinds, so we really need to uh, try and kill her. And you know what? Perfect use of a fire potion. Oh, white beast statue is out of the boss pool now. Uh, potions always appear as combat rewards. It's really good. And then liquid bronze, pretty nice. So we can be a little bit more like uh, lenient with saving our potions. But why would I care to use a potion here? I know the outcome to this one. It's going to be this. Flex potion. Ooh, five strength also at the beginning, beginning of combat. I think that's better than liquid bronze. Especially against the time eater. Just that instant damage right off the top. Yeah. Alright, what do we want to upgrade? I don't think we have many cards to upgrade left. I guess let's upgrade our defense. Like, we're, we're down to basic strikes and basic defense. Which doesn't really happen a lot. Ooh, you're going to be annoying. You're going to be real annoying. Okay. Let's get this big 9 damage attack while we have that extra strength at the beginning. From the mutagen mutag mutagenic strength. You know, those words I just said. Alright, now we're back uh, waiting for strength to build and getting back to our... Uh, back to our whirlwind. But can't say we can't hit him for something. Can I draw another attack? Oh, we can't draw. No reason to waste it then. We have taken him down halfway immediately, which is pretty sweet. Giant head's kind of annoying just because of how big his health pool is. Oh, 35? Ugh. Oh, and you're not going to give me anything to defend with. That's really nice of you. I understood I took Mark of Pain and those two wounds could have been good cards. Uh, but thanks for nothing. Ghostly Armor. Shrug. There we go. Just get all the defending up. Alright, we should be getting back to those whirlwinds any time now. Oh, yeah. Boom. Kill him. Thank you. Shuriken. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Could be good if we were uh, playing it for build. Another double tap? Yes. You always take another double tap. Until you don't. <laughs> uh, we're going to gain 25. So we're right now we're down 21. So we will take... We'll look at two. Um, put an attack from your drop pile under your hand. That could be good. And... I guess we'll take blind for our weakness. Yeah, I don't think we'll need the bandage, bandage up. Okay, another defend upgraded. It's crazy the difference of like how hard characters are. We've been struggling so hard with the Watcher, but now we are all like, this has been a 28 minute run. Same length as the Watcher one, last Watcher one we did. And we're already on the final boss. And not doing too badly. Uh, we should go ahead and drink all this stuff. And we will double tap pain. Okay, 65 left. It's not like we have so much random stuff protecting us. We already lost the like the perfect. I wasn't really worried about it. Could I attack from your draw pile? Do I have anything good in my draw pile? Not really. Cause this no, this doesn't even exhaust though. Is there an attack I'd want? Well, let's see. Uh, we can double, yeah, we'll double tap Bash. Could actually be really good. Just to keep the vulnerable on him. Kind of prepare him for the next uh, Whirlwind. Which I shouldn't use, actually. He's going to clear all his crap off. Like, I should just n see if I can knock him out now. Alright. So the next really good Whirlwind we have with double tap, I'll probably drink these two. Actually, we should go ahead and apply this. Oh, this is going to be a, a rough one. I'm going to take a whopping, like, 45 to the face. A little less than that, but still not fun. But we're up to 17 strength, so. The next whirlwind is probably game over for this, bro. 
Which sucks is we didn't draw it now. Because look, this would have been a great hand for it. Uh, 24 more. Ouch. I don't think it's going to matter. I think we'll get plenty of block. Okay. Yeah, and he's dead next turn. Go ahead and drink this and prepare for... No Whirlwind. Where are they all at? I don't think Whirlwind exhausts, so... Anyway, that's a win. The thump, the thump. A, a deep pulse, pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire? The source of this evil? Ready your blade. We'll attack it. So, 862 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but you ultimately still... But is ultimately still pounding. Are you the mightiest... Are your mightiest attacks not enough? Couldn't read for a second. So, I've dealt a total of 9,000, and there's been 15 million dealt to it. Dang. Okay. Victory. Ascension unlocked, and some new unlocks here. Oh, some new relics. Cool. And we will continue through that way. All right, guys, that's been another win as the Ironclad. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.